Boom. Wow. But that is hurting him. Let's go ahead. Let's drop some more titanium on him. Got him. I think I pressed this. Oh, I am not shooting. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana. Please stop. In today's video, we are going to be trying to use a bunch of previous Hall of Fame tier weapons against what I consider one of the new strongest bosses in modern Terraria. That being the Ugandan Knuckles. Boom. There he is. Look how menacing he is. I don't want to summon him in because he's going to probably kill me. But yeah, the previous boss to hold this title was Act Death. And there probably is honestly a couple of new bosses i just don't know of that hold this title over the gandhi knuckles but we have a bunch of previous hall of fame weapons here we might be missing some honestly but yeah let's get to it let's test these weapons on the ugandan knuckles let's see if we could kill it all right so our first weapons here we got the unassuming redstone which turns all hostile entities into harmless bubbles and we got the infinity gauntlet i don't even remember how to use the infinity gauntlet but let's start with the reality stone here pretty much or unassuming redstone no copyright and uh this if we just summon in something We've seen this in this past. It, it just turns things into bubbles. Makes a very scary noise. Can it turn the Ugandan knuckles into bubbles? Let's see. Let's see. Wait for the health bar. Boom. Wow. It turned him into bubbles and all his projectiles. That that's a good start that really is a good start now the gauntlet attempts to eradicate half of all living things including yourself. Let's bring in King Slime here. There we go. Got him okay we got got ourselves right there too let's bring in the ugandan knuckles let's see if we could take them out with the infinity gauntlet here we got him got ourselves too but we got him we are honestly off to a great start here next up we got a real good hall of fame weapon here the black hole pickaxe this thing literally sends things into a black hole let's bring in the king slime gone just like that i got high hopes for this one the only problem is we do got to get close and getting close to you gone knuckles is kind of scary i'll let him get close to me there we go gone get him out of here next up we got the tome of greater manipulation from the juice mod and right next to it the black hole tome also from the juice mod these ones you should know how these ones work i use these ones damn near every episode or at least the greater tome but yeah you got knuckles boom let me grab him here so he can't even come near us and let's see oh it's not looking too good I'm, i don't feel like sitting here all this time and you know doing this damage to him so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch to the black hole tome and see if that kills him oh man it's doing great damage it's doing great damage it's not an insta kill but that is hurting him and boom we killed him eventually okay i give up on trying to kill him with the greater tome it, it's probably doable if i sit there for a while but i don't feel like doing that so that's gonna be our first l officially i believe just because you know compared to these other four they pretty much insta killed him this one i gotta sit there for like 30 minutes probably longer than that all right next up we got the sword of the multiverse and kellid bulg Khaled Bolg or something like that. All right, let's see it in action here. This is a big boy weapon, as you can see, like literally gigantic, big noises, loud noises. I don't know if you'd use big to describe a noise. All right, let's see it in action though. Can one of these big sonic waves kill him? No, not instantly, but eventually. If I keep going, my game is going to crash. If I keep going, he might die. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. He's coming back. Here it comes. Slowly but surely, the game is coming back. And just like that, we awoke in the Queen Bee. The game, I, I still can't move. All right. Even though that weapon blew out my eardrums, I consider that somewhat of, of a W. It killed it eventually. Unlike the Greater Tome, which would take years to kill it eventually. I, I consider that a W. It got the job done in the end. Now we got the Khaled Bulg. This one should be a little bit stronger. Let's see it in action. Okay. I lied about the little bit stronger part, apparently. This is just straight up an L. There, there's not much else to say. All right, we got our remaining weapons here. Next up is the Ender Prism. A gift from the Ender Gods. Shoots 100 beams. It gets a little bit laggy when you start it up. But look at that. Beautiful just beam. Look at it slowly spin. 100 beams put together. You think that'd be able to kill the Ugandan Knuckles? Let's see. I hope it can. I really do. I got high hopes. And those hopes went away just like that. Oh, 
All right, next up we have the Super Titanium Dropper. This was a great weapon last time I remember using it. Let's see it in action against the Ugandan Knuckles. Let's hope it can take it out. I'm hoping the best for all weapons, but some of them are doing me wrong. Oh, we got his ass. Let's go ahead. Let's drop some more titanium on him. Got him. That's a beautiful weapon, honestly. And look at the explosion animation. You love to see it. All right, next up we got the Pestilence. Let's see the Pestilence in action. It's a little slow of a weapon, a little small, but I believe it is a mighty weapon unless I'm proven wrong. No, we are proven right. Nice. Let's do it one more time. Just slap him with a regular sword. Nice. I'm glad that it worked. And next up, we got the Toma Deletion and True Toma Deletion. This, if you remember, it's a pretty crazy weapon. It can lag the game sometimes when shooting it. And then we got that version, which definitely lags the game when shooting it. We're probably going to summon in another Queen Bee. Look, do you see that? Do you see the map getting, like, discovered? We may or may not see a Queen Bee. Let's try out both of them, though. Toma Deletion, come on oh nice so i'm assuming the other one is gonna be able to kill it no problem if one does it the other has to do it not bad that's four weapons in a row that did pretty good i guess three we could put these two together next up we got the origin buster the origin buster just a really strong yo-yo very cool attack too let's see it in action against the uganda knuckles oh killed it before it even spawns in look at that that's how you know that's some power we're gonna wait for it to actually spawn in though so i can kill it oh my god that is very impressive from the origin buster next up we got the eldritch curse which this literally turns us into the moon lord i gotta actually configure the controls for this so uh let me do that okay i don't remember how to use this so i think i press this oh <laughs> and then i think this this is an attack yep right here is an attack and then wait for it damn how long does this take to go away does this go away <laughs> all right since it's not going away let's go ahead let's just you know summon in the uganda knuckles oh I, I can't summon in the uganda knuckles like that all right well we still got the attacks oh nope the attacks disappeared all right let's hit it now oh nice good attack kind of want to see it again okay that went a little one more time let's hit the moon lord or let's hit the uganda knuckles with the moon lord attack he's kind of on top of me i don't know what i'm supposed to do let's use a different attack there we go <laughs> and then the, we got one more i think yeah there you go there's a little like explosion that happens on our hands i believe they all kill him so we don't exactly need to test them out but like might as well might as well now that's some great damage right there that's definitely one of the more unique uh quote-unquote weapons we've used in this series on to the next we got the psychedelic prism fires beams of pure psychic energy scaling and power to overwhelm the most obstinate of foes to universe shattering levels i know the psychedelic prism has been updated a couple times since the original video i've done with it where is it even at do i even have enough mana to use it oh i'm not even clicking and it's working okay let's bring them in let's see it in action here apparently you just don't have to click oh my god i'm in the floor why am i in the floor get me out of here i don't know why it put me in the floor i also don't know like why you don't need to click like uh, why? it's just working without me pressing anything so we are technically killing it my bad if it's a little loud we are killing it so i consider this a w i'm still wondering why we were put in the floor when we died like i swear to god i set my well maybe i did take my spawn off but there you go, Ugandan Knuckles defeated by the Psychedelic Prism. Not bad, took a little bit. Let me set my spawn. And I believe last but not least, we have the Supreme Vehemence. This was a pretty good weapon to use. Let's see it against the Ugandan Knuckles. Can we take the Ugandan Knuckles out with our last weapon? Let's see. I am not shooting. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana. Please stop. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little salty that the last weapon crashed the game, so I had to reload all these mods. Very fun. All right, let's do it again. This time I should have the mana. I'm just, I'm just firing away. Oh no, not again. Please, tell, just teleport, bro. Oh my god, this. I hate this weapon. This last weapon is terrible. Supreme Vehemence, terrible. I hate you. Worst weapon ever. Make me reload mods. Twice. all right so after going over all the weapons and having to reload this giant mod pack three four times this is what we're looking like in terms of weapons that killed it and didn't honestly surprising that such a small amount didn't kill it 
I thought it was going to be a bigger amount. But honestly, just like the Act Dead video, it, it came out to a decent amount being able to kill it. You know, at least the Uganda Knuckles doesn't die to sand. Well, maybe it does. I haven't really tested it. It's not a good way to test it. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of weapons was able to kill it. Nice to see. Uh, obviously, there's a couple weapons missing in this. There was like two mods that straight up either weren't updated to this version or they just crashed the mod pack. And, you know, we got like, what? 10 12 mods here for all these weapons so crashing the mod pack on top of the 30 preloaded mods i have already kind of annoying uh the vades mod was the one that crashed it over and over again and we had like two three weapons from that mod that were hall of fame and then the apotheosis and friends mod just straight up isn't even the same version as the current team mod loader but you could download it on this version of team mod loader which is weird i don't get how that works but yeah cool you got in knuckles just like that act death video is killable with previous hall of fame weapons love to see it let me know in the comments another boss as hard as the ugandan knuckles in if it doesn't break my game because i know there's been bosses in the past like binos that people were said were harder than like act death ugandan knuckles but like the mod binos is from literally crashes my game or just doesn't work i don't know what's wrong with it maybe it doesn't work for team model 64 no idea but let me know if there's a harder boss out there we could do a future video like this on shoot even add that boss to future canterbury bosses survive this is officially the fifth 50th episode well it's kind of like a spin-off episode like the act death one us but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video shout out to all these mods and their weapons except for this one you caused me pain in this video i'll see y'all next time all right little bonus clip for people that stay to watch the end we're gonna try and kill him with the sand falling on him act death died this way let's see if the mighty ugandan knuckles can die this way uh i'm gonna have to do a vein miner okay that answers that. Please get away from me before you kill me. <laughs>